another statue uh, trademarked by me. Mojo, 110 scale, big old box from Iron Studio. This is a polystone piece, hopefully. I wanna see if these legs are metal or plastic. Who knows, it is a big box. I did not know it was gonna be such a big figure. So, open it up for you. He looks awesome. A character a lot of people do not make. I applaud Iron Studio for doing it. This is part of the X-Men line. If you don't know who Mojo is, he is comic book X-Men. I think he's from another dimension or something. So, let me open it, see what we get, and hopefully everything looks that cool. Okay, Mojo's assembled, and uh, yeah, okay. The difficulty level, I would say, a seven <laughs> it's difficult however iron studio does give you a manual and uh i would follow it okay a couple things about the statue number one it's a knock out the part it's it's a beautiful piece it's uh it's a win it's great iron studio did a fantastic job this is just a weird angle i will move the camera around a little bit for you but this is he's big okay he's really big uh i didn't i didn't know how big he was but he's he's huge okay he's a big piece he's a 110 piece um this this here painted beautifully. His Mojo's body is painted beautifully. The the bio whatever he's got. I know he's got all these all these legs and all these guns and stuff is because I think his race is like I think they're immobilized. They can't move at all without their technology that, that makes them uh, gives them some kind of uh, mobility. But anyways, uh, the legs uh, one two three four five six. Uh, yes, they got to get pegged in. This one's already in the body. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is put him in. Uh, I would go I would go very slow, okay? This is a tutorial for anybody who doesn't get this. Go slow. Go slow. Hold the weight on every side. Figure it out. He goes in first. This leg is going to fit right into here. Yes, it does fit. Everything fits perfectly. You just have to get the right angle and the right leg. This leg looks a lot like this one. This one looks a lot like this one, but they're not the same. Different angles. There were at times I was putting this one in, I'm like, why isn't it working? Why isn't this working? I had to go back and forth. But I never forced it. I never wiggled it in. I never, you know, I never did anything. I said, well, I know my statue, so I just take it out a little bit. Let's move on, let's try this one. And then all of a sudden, click, it goes in. And you see how it fits right there? It fits right into the base, just like that. And while I'm putting it in, I'm holding this point and this point, nice and steady, just holding holding those two ends, just click in there, okay? And then next one, same thing, okay? These little ones are a lot easier. The guns go on next, and then even the back of him, which is, do my turntable here, his tail um, goes in the back right there too. That's the last piece you're gonna put in. The base is uh, pretty simple. The base is just like those X-Men Sentinel bases. Um, they didn't put a lot of work on the base because they want your eye to be on the character. The character is the, the focal point. The base is like whatever. It doesn't matter where he goes to. So let me move him a little bit here. Move this camera just a little bit. The legs are a plastic, uh, but a little bit better than a plastic. I, I couldn't explain the material. They are pretty good. They are fragile though. Not as fragile as those General Grievous pieces, um, but they're fragile. They're still plastic, Be make, make sure that you get it right. Everything does fit correctly. You just have to figure it out. Even the guns, they look very similar, but one goes at a certain angle, one doesn't. And you have to look at the keyhole and everything and just kind of hold it and uh, make sure it fits. If it doesn't fit, take a breath, sit back, uh, regroup, and then do it again. Mojo himself, he is polystone, but he's very light polystone. He's not a solid piece. I bet he's hollow. Um, the base is solid. Uh, like I said, plastic pieces for everything else. I'm not, I won't even call it plastic. I don't even know what it is. Maybe a PVC. Maybe some kind of uh, chemistry that I don't understand. I'm not really an expert on all that. But this is the detail you're getting anyways. Fantastic detail. Look at that. Detail, detail, detail. Beautiful mojo. This is like, you know, people complain. They don't make characters. Uh, they don't make different kind of characters. This is it. This is your mojo. I mean... Look at the fat rolls on him and look at the, the cybernetics and everything else. Look at, look at his face, look at his eyes. Fantastic job, beautiful job. Gorgeous piece. So yeah, this is uh, this is awesome. A little bit of touch on the base, got some wiring. I, I guess it's part of the Sentinel piece, I'm not, I'm not sure. We just kind of kept it the same theme. 
And I'm surprised, I don't think they made Longshot. That's very weird. They made Spiral, which I think is one of his assassins or something like that. And I didn't see Shadow Star or anything like that. But uh, anyways, this is it. Pretty big. That's your big piece right there. Comparable to, let me see. Sorry about my phone. Let's put my phone right next to it. So my phone there. Yep, yeah, pretty good. Pretty nice size for a 110. Um, and that's, and I would follow the manual. Any questions, just come talk to us. If not, uh, I got a couple of these left. Have a great one, guys. And uh, be safe. I have more videos for you. All right, one, more, one last look. Very nice. See ya, Mojo.